Hi there, James here. Um, I hope you can hear me okay. It, I'm, I'm sat in the car again. Um, it's uh, it's raining outside, so you you may just hear a load of rain. For all I know, um, yeah. No, I just really want to do another video. I'm sat. I've got a bit of time. Um, my son's playing football at the moment. Um, I've just been sat here <coughs> reading reading one of my books. Um, yeah, and I just had had some thoughts come over me, and I thought I'd, I'd you know want to make a video, share some more thoughts that I've had. Um, I well, I want to focus this one. It's, it comes back around more so to the law of attraction. That, again, I mean, manifesting is a huge part of what we do. All of us do on a day to day basis. Um, I think what it is, it's learning to fine tune that so that you're um, in. I call it deliberate creation. So you're creating with intent. Um, as opposed to letting the 3D construct uh, continue to, um, you, we create all the time, um, we manifest things all the time. The trouble is with the 3D construct, it's got us into such a way of thinking and believing that um, we, by default, we let it take over and it just does things um, based on on how we currently live, the current belief system we have, etc. So unless you're deliberately taking yourself out of that and practicing to deliberately create, um, you won't get the results you really want um, without it. Okay. So I, th I think some good practices I find um, that I found over time with manifestation, with the law of attraction and deliberate creation to start with, it the, the intent side starts with with acknowledgement of the intent. Um, so you're acknowledging that, that this is what you're going to do. You're acknowledging that, um, what the outcome's going to be. Um, and then you go ahead with the creation. Now, what I like to do, um, as I've said in previous videos, the, 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 the creation for me started off uh, watching The Secret. I always recommend people start at The Secret uh, in, the 3D world that we're in is the perfect place to start. It's the simplest. It's a bit commercialised, um, but it's it's the best place to start. As you raise your vibrations and levels of consciousness, um, you don't necessarily you you kind of create from a different place, slightly differently. It's a, it's a different knowing and belief altogether than than where you start. But the secret is a is a stepping stone. I mean. It's where I started, or one of the things I say that brought my attention to it. I know I was creating. I now know that I was creating before then. Um, but obviously, after the secret is done um, with intent, and you, and you start to understand how to do it. Um, I think the, the biggest hiccup people have is is obviously they're creating from a place of neediness and lack of, um, and we've heard it over and over. Um, it's it's the worst it's the worst place to create from. Um, the beauty of it is, it's at, at the drop of a hat you can change your thought process, um, which then leads on to the feeling base, the emotion side of things. So it does start with a thought process. Although the creation comes from within, comes from the heart, comes from a feeling, comes from um the knowing a believing it's it's a different it's a difference but it has to start with a thought process okay and you can talk yourself in to a state of creation um so anybody in the world whatever position that anybody is in can actually turn their lives around i know some will be harder than others that i i understand um some situations are more difficult than others we all have a past we all have a story my story is I come from a from a home. It was, um, it was a household with with violence in it. It was drunken violence, um, a divorced family, uh, being beaten up, um, very tortured mentally and disturbed in that way. Um, so that's my story. But that that hurt me. That was painful for me. Um, other people have worse. Other people not so bad. But what's it's always bad for the individual because that's your story, that's your journey, that's your life, okay? Um, and this is why I never get into comparing of um, who had it worse than somebody else, and et cetera, et cetera, because you then get into the, into the victim mindset, which is also non-productive. You can't create from the victim mindset. 
Okay, so it's um, it, it is learning to create with intent. Um, I think one of the things that I find the best times to to create um to manifest is when it will start putting the vibrations out there to manifest something to bring the vibrations in line sorry um is either either side of meditation um or just before bed now just as i'm dropping off to sleep at night i find that um a fantastic time to really focus on what it what, what it is that i'm wanting to manifest um and this comes from a place of just knowing of like, I already know there's a version of me out there with this, this manifestation idea or thought or thing that I'm after or that I'm, I'm bringing into my consciousness at that time. I know it already exists for me. It already exists. I find when I, when I get into this moment of these thoughts in my heart um, of seeing myself receiving whatever it is or or having whatever it is i'm completely visualizing myself so be it a new car i completely visualize myself sat in the car just sat there looking around it rubbing my hands on the steering wheel um i like a bit of power in a car so I put my foot down and feel feel the feel the energy of the car pull pull away um but it's with complete gratitude and, and and I already have it, I already own it, um, I feel it, and I get a flutter in my heart. So I know, I feel the flutter um, of happiness. And then I don't, I don't give anything, I don't anchor any other emotions to it, just that joy and the happiness, that um, gratitude. And then I let it go. And then I, w I will do it again at another point and another point. At no point do I ever think, how is that coming? When is it coming? None of these other thoughts come into my head. I just tune into it every so often. I bring the vibration in um, and I go with it. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share these thoughts. Like I said, I was just prompted to share that. I think it's important. Uh, key to manifestation. Um, we're doing it all the time. You've got to learn, to learn to focus, learn to do it with intent. Do it from the heart. Don't anchor any negative thoughts to it. Be grateful and grat have gratitude for everything that you have so far and be grateful for what what it is that you're aligning yourself with because there's already a version of you out there that has what it is that you're after and you've just got to align yourself you've got to accept it you've got to let it in there's a flow state a constant flow state that i talk about and it's allowing to just anchor into that flow state and, and go with it okay it's a wonderful thing it's so much fun it's it's something we all do you've just got to anchor into it Anyway, that's it. I've got my son finishing shortly. Um, sorry for the condition of this video, um, but I just wanted to make it and then put it out there. Anyway, brilliant. Thanks ever so much. Love and peace.